Well, I'd like to um, now to go on to end with uh, a few things related to my, one of my favorite areas of mathematics, which is graph theory. Uh, by a graph, I don't mean one of these things. Uh, that's a graph. Uh, a, 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 <coughs> A graph is, is like, a, like a road map with points and lines, uh, and all your, or, or if you like the London Underground map, uh, you, you've, got, um, you've got what we call nodes or vertices, and you've got points joining them. And what I want to do is, is to show you how such pictures can help you solve problems. So let's cover this up. Suppose you've got six people at a party. Say so, so U6, or U6 over there. I claim that in any collection of six people, you will always find either three mutual acquaintances or three mutual non-acquaintances. Or if you want me to state it a bit more dramatically, in any group of six people, you'll find three friends or three enemies. Okay? And uh, how do you prove that? It's one of these things that the more you think about it, the harder it becomes. So I think the best thing is not to think about it too much uh, <coughs> and see if we can actually solve it um, using a picture. And what we do is as follows. We take, um, we, we take, take, take this, this, this picture here, and what I'm going to do is whenever, so I've got the six people here, and whenever uh, they know each other, I'm going to join them by a, by a red line. And when they don't know each other, I'm going to draw them by, join them by a green line. And what do I want to prove? I want to show that either three mutual friends, in other words, a red triangle, however you, you there are 15 lines to put in. However you do it, you always get a red triangle or a green triangle if they don't know each other. Okay. How do you start? Well, let's look at any of them. Let's say A. Well, how many lines come out of A? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five lines out of A. So there must be at least three of one color. If there are only two red ones and two green ones, then you haven't got enough. So there must be at least three of one color. And we can assume it's red, because the argument is just the same as if it's green. So there are at least, say, three red lines coming out, uh, out, out of here. And it doesn't matter where they go. Now, A to C and A to F, they may be red, they may be green. We don't know. But we do know there are at least three of the same color, so, so we have, have this. How about B and D? Do they know each other? If they do, we have a red triangle, and we're done. So we can assume they don't know each other. How about D and E? Do they know each other? If they do, we have a red triangle, so we assume they don't. How about B and E? Do they know each other? If they do, we get a, right, a red triangle, so we're done. So we assume they don't, and then we get a, a green triangle. And that shows by, just by using a, a, a good diagram, we can actually solve a puzzle really very, very quickly. <coughs>